Hi, my name is Brian Lefebvre with Olympus Controls, your local automation partner. And today I'm here to discuss the Animatics Smart Motor. First, what is an Animatics Smart Motor and why would you use an Animatics Smart Motor? To answer that question, let's take a peek at a conventional motion control system. A conventional motion control system is comprised of a separate motion controller, a separate drive amplifier, and a separate motor. Additionally, the system may have remote I.O. for machine control. The good news with the conventional motion control system is you have infinite amount of flexibility in selecting a drive and motor for the appropriate power. The bad news is Unfortunately, it requires quite a bit of wiring between all the systems. A smart motor is comprised of an integrated motion controller, an amplifier, feedback encoder, packaged with a high quality brushless DC servo motor. What that means, good news, is it's a simple package, and even better news is significantly reduced wiring and in integration effort when you deploy your system. So there's a quick peek at a conventional versus smart motor system. Now let's take a little bit closer look at an animatics smart motor. Taking a closer look at the animatics smart motor, you'll notice two D sub connectors on the top and a couple of LEDs. The first D sub connector is where you wire in your 24 volt to 48 volt DC power supply. Additionally, you get a five volt trigger and RS-232. You additionally get two status LEDs, one being power and the second being trajectory. So basically you're going to get green light good, red light bad, and blinking lights in between for, for troubleshooting purposes. And lastly, you're going to get a 15 pin D sub connector on top, which is for your five volt IO. The IO can be configured as encoder input, step and direction input, end of tra travel limits, RS-485. These inputs can also be general purpose user I.O. or additionally they can be consumed for analog input. Um, additionally you get encoder output and an RS-232 echo. Moving to the back, this is specific to a class 5 motor. Um, you can get a 24 volt I.O. option which allows you to source up to 350, 300 milliamps per point. And then lastly, you can get another M12 connector with CAN bus communication. In this example, a controlling PC communicates with a total of four CAN master motors. In each column or bank, you'll see there's an additional two slave motors communicating in each bank. Certainly this system is not limited to two slaves per bank. In the following video, 1008, that's 1008, animatic smart motors are controlling a live onstage display. Each smart motor was attached to a cable on top of each sphere and lower over 40 feet in quick smooth succession over a large grid. The, glass, the class 5 smart motor was able to provide contouring mode fast enough to allow for fluid movement of all components of the performance. This video was taken at the World Expo in Shanghai, China earlier this year. So there's a look at a standalone system utilizing the CAN network from Animatics. Looking to communicate to an external PLC or controller? Not a problem. The Animatics smart motor can also be configured to communicate over Ethernet, DeviceNet, and Profibus. Additional accessories include cable sets, power supplies, gearboxes, and a variety of other options. Each smart motor is shipped with a configuration software package, SMI, Smart Motor Interface 2.0. Additionally, if you have a CNC application, Animatic supplies CNC G-code translators at an additional cost. So that's it. Thank you for your time. If you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at our 800 number. Thank you for your attention and have a great day.